At 12.45, President Obama is expected to make a statement about the murder of journalist James Foley, killed at the hand of ISIS militants. You can watch it live right here on Channel 5. This, as sadness, blankets Foley's hometown of Rochester, New Hampshire. This morning, the reporter's mother made a brief appearance. News Center 5's Antoinette Antonio is live from Rochester with more. Antoinette. And Erica, we spoke with her for just a couple of minutes. In that short amount of time, you could really see the pain and the anguish on her face, knowing that after being kidnapped two years ago, her son is not coming home. There's nothing I can say that is going to make any sense of any of this, because you can't make sense of insanity. The Rochester community dealing with the devastating loss of journalist James Foley. Yellow ribbons still up at his parents' home. His mother graciously declined to speak on camera this morning, but after a tearful embrace told us, we can just pray that we can be as strong as Jim. Father Paul Gauss, the family's pastor, also spoke with her last night. As she hugged me, she said, please pray for me that I don't become bitter. I don't want to hate. Militant group ISIS claiming responsibility for Foley's execution, saying it's in retaliation for U.S. airstrikes in Iraq. A video posted online by ISIS starts with Foley dressed in orange, kneeling next to a militant dressed in black and holding a knife. His family and his hometown now focusing on who he was, not how he died, calling him a brave and dedicated journalist. Father Gauss recalling one of the last times he saw Foley after his 2011 abduction by Libyan forces. That time, he was freed after a month in captivity. He came to express his gratitude for all of the prayers that he received. And he said to the people who were gathered, I knew you were praying for me. I could feel it. Father Gauss says he hasn't yet, but he will be speaking with the Foley family about memorial services. We're live in Rochester, New Hampshire this noon. Antoinette Antonio, WCVB News Center 5.